Hey church, I hope that you've been having so much fun in the snow. Our family's been having a blast. We've been doing all of the cliche snow day things, sledding, snowball fights, snow angels, hot chocolate, all that good stuff. I hope that you've been enjoying it in your own special way. But hey, today's Valentine's Day, and although we can't be together uh, at church, I still wanted to bring a word of encouragement this morning. So if you've been following Facebook at all this week, you've probably been seeing these surveys about people's relationships. And it's just got questions like, you know, how did you meet? Um, who was interested in who first? Where was your first kiss? Things like that. But one of the questions that really stuck out to me was, how long did it take for the relationship to get serious? And, and the range of answers has been anywhere from, you know, just right off the bat to, to a couple months to a year. But the thing is that there's this period of time between when we meet and when relationship gets serious. And that's true whether or not it's a, a romantic relationship, a friendship, a familial re relationship. We have this period of time where we go from meeting somebody to the point of, of, of committed to relationship. And, and there's this period of time that happens. And so the question becomes, what is it that happens in that period of time that, that makes it so that you go from just a, a, an acquaintance to a deeply committed relationship. And the thing that I think it is, is it's consistency, right? It's seeing their character over and over and over again and learning to trust that their character is who they are. And so with that being said, our key verse today comes from 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 4. You may have seen that one coming. It's the uh, famous love chapter. And it's, it goes like this, love is patient, love is kind. It does not envy, it does not boast. It is not proud, it is not rude. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Love never fails. And the thing that I love about this scripture is, is it talks about how love never fails, but before love never fails, it talks about all the things that love is, right? Love is patient, love is kind. And, and so it's this consistency. When you add up all of these things, love never fails. And, and for us, we're standing here in the snow and you know, if it was just a flake here and a flake there, a couple hours goes by and a couple more flakes and then a couple days goes by and a couple more flakes, we wouldn't have the pile up. But with the consistency of flake after flake, minute after minute, hour after hour, day after day, we see this pile up of snow and it becomes this beautiful thing for us to enjoy. And the same thing can be said of our relationships, that that when we add up our character day and day and day, it adds up to this this love that can never fail. And for us, that's that's something for us to practice. That's something for us to grow in. Um, but the big thing here is, is that God's love never fails. It is consistent day in and day out. He is the same yesterday, today, and forever. And we're in Valentine's Day, and maybe you weren't able to get out and get your traditional gifts, the flowers and the chocolate and the teddy bear. Uh, you maybe, maybe you've been snowed in. But Valentine's Day is, is not about gifts. It's about showing our love for somebody else. And we do that with the use of gifts. Gifts are a tool to do that. But really, it's it's a way for us to express our love for those around us. And so my challenge for all of us this Valentine's Day is, is to not get so hung up on the gifts. Uh, we're, we're still in this, this snowstorm right now and, and maybe you can't get out. So focus on what you can give. You can give of yourself. You can be patient. You can be kind. You can build this consistency into your relationships. Uh, and, and you'll see that love never fails. The love that, that you have to give can be something that is powerful and uh, like I said, God's, God's love never fails, and, and his gift to us is himself, right? The Bible says that there's no greater love than this, that one would lay down his life for his friend, and, and God did just that, and, and that was the expression of, of his love, that Jesus Christ came and died uh, so that we would have eternal life with him. And so I hope that you all have a blessed day. I hope that you enjoy your Valentine's Day. Uh, if you have a special someone, if not, spread the love with your friends, your family, and can't wait to be back in church with you all. I love you. Next week's going to be great. Uh, come on out to Riverview Church. We're going to be having our Valentine's Day giveaway next week. We're going to postpone that out one week. We've also got a new uh, service opportunity starting next week called Luggage of Love, helping out our foster care kids. And it's going to be a great opportunity for the church to partner with our community. So be a part of that. Be there. 10 o'clock service next Sunday. Can't wait to see you all. Have a blessed Sunday and a blessed week, church.